forget all that. Let's let's jump on Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez. Max Holloway, Yair Rodriguez. As far as I'm concerned, that is fight of the fight of the year. Not that massacre that we witnessed last week with 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 uh, Chandler and 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 what's the other guy's name? Gaethje. Gaethje. That is no fight to me. That was a bloodbath. I am not interested in fights like that anymore. Though these two fellas bled, they bled on a high level. Both of these gentlemen were on a high frequency. When we talk about free flow, free flow, this is what I'm talking about. Not a slugfest. That was the, what, what these two gentlemen did was not a slugfest. The, these were calculated strikes. Calculated strikes. You saw the head movement. You saw the defense. The defense and the offense were on point. These two gentlemen were balanced fighters. When they went to the ground, you saw ground. When it was standing, you saw standing. Max Holloway, man. All them leg kicks that he took to the shin and he was still walking afterwards. Dude's on a whole nother level in my mind. Whole nother level. To take all them leg kicks like that and continue to fight at a high level like he fought? Wow. Yair Rodriguez. Yair Rodriguez. He brought the future of striking. He displayed the future of striking to us. Now, let me tell you about the perfect fighter. Take Max Holloway's boxing and you throw it on right, Yair Rodriguez. You got yourself. Mm. The perfect mixed martial artist. The perfect striker in mixed martial arts. Boxing like, like Max Holloway. Dynamic movement movement like, like Yaya Rodriguez. Oh my goodness. They're coming. Yeah. They're coming. Trust me, they're coming. Uh, Adrian Giannis is a prime candidate. Prime candidate to hit that perfect status. He's coming. He's not there yet because he's still young, but give him time. Yair Rodriguez has been gone for two years. He came back mm -hmm. and look at what he did. Look yeah. at what he did. Why? Because he dares to throw those strikes. He dares to throw the spinning strikes. He dares to throw the soccer kick, right? The Maradona soccer kick. Yep. The, the, the twisting kick that he did. Yep. He dares yeah. to do it. He dares to do those things against a high, high level striker like Max, Max Holloway. Mm -hmm. Max Holloway, you got to give him his props. The instant that he started to notice that Yair Rodriguez was slipping into free flow, he immediately went for the double leg takedown and he changed the game. He disrupted that flow yeah. immediately. Immediately. This is why Max was a champion for as long as he was. This is why he was a champion. Yeah. Right? You can even argue this is why... Uh, 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 Volkanovski is the current champion because he, as soon as he sees Max Holloway going into free flow, he initiates the takedown immediately, right? Max Holloway learning from what was done to him, he did right. the same thing to Yair Rodriguez. Exactly. You know what I mean? You, I mean, if you want to be on the highest level, you got to learn from your losses and your wins as well. Max Holloway showed that he's learned from his losses. You know what I mean? I mean, to stand in front of Yair Rodriguez like he did was admirable i wouldn't advise it i wouldn't advise mm. it i mean look, look at uh, uh the korean zombie one second yeah. left and he lost the match and a match that he was winning the entire time he lost to an, uh, uh, <laughs> an elbow that you didn't even see coming exactly you know what I mean? elbow. The, the, right right yair rodriguez is one of the most dangerous human beings in the ufc one of the most dangerous Uf, uh, UFC fighters. His hand speed is not as fast as Max Holloway. This is the only reason Max was able to beat him. Hand speed. This is why I say you take that boxing of Max Holloway, you throw it on Yair Rodriguez, and you got yourself a perfect mixed martial artist striker. Perfect. His kicks. Who's got better kicks than Yair Rodriguez in the 145-pound division? Who? Not many. Who? I don't think any. Who? Who? Right. Who? Question yeah. mark kicks with the lead leg. Yeah. I mean, he's striking. Striking like you've never seen before. 
Yair Rodriguez brings the future of striking right before you. Please, fighters, go and study this fight. Yeah. Learn this fight. It's a master class. If they fight again, if they fight again, Yair beats him. Trust me. Wow. If they fight again, Yair beats him. He beats him. He almost beat him. Yeah. If that, that elbow that he threw that caught Max, if it was an inch, an inch further, he would have knocked his block clean off. He barely grazed him with that elbow, that rising elbow from underneath. He barely grazed him. He hit him, but he didn't hit him solid. It wasn't a solid shape. Barely grazed him. Right. This is why at the end of the match, you see Max Holloway run to that van, the 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 the, the ambulance. ambulance. Hey man, these two gentlemen, they came close to death. They saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Death was near for both of them. And they beat it. This is why they embraced each other in the way they in the manner that they did. You see, when you when you see death flash before your eyes and you beat it, not only do you beat it, two men beat it together. They beat, they cheated death. And they made it out. You have to celebrate something like that. Yeah. No matter how much you hate the individual that you're fighting. I mean, look at Kamar Usman and 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 and, and Covington. Um, Covington. Coving Immediately they they embraced. You know what I mean? When, when you when you fight for 25 minutes <laughs> people don't understand they don't understand what goes on in that cage mm -hmm. 25 minutes of an opponent that refuses to quit mm -hmm. and you yourself refusing to quit yeah you know what i mean for 25 minutes exchanging massive blows like they took and not just massive blows not just a brawl blows that were that were systematic e executed perfectly you know what i mean these two gentlemen are at the highest level mm -hmm. of the game max holloway man he's something special he's something special it's wrestling deep and the man can grapple like no one else but he chooses not to do it by choice yeah. he's that damn good he chooses to beat you with this like the true Hawaiian that he is. He yeah. chooses to use these because this is this is what we do where I come from. I will learn your art, your jujitsu and your wrestling. I will learn it. Just so you don't put me in that situation. Right. But if it comes to it, this is what it is. And you gotta respect respect Max for that. Shout out to Max Holloway. Yeah. But Yair Rodriguez, man. Even <laughs> even in the loss, even in the loss, he didn't lose. Because he fought at the highest level. Yeah. He fought at the highest level. He even broke his body. He broke his body in this match. And you saw his foot. That foot is broken, man. It's Look how fucked. swollen it was. It, it's broken. It's broken. And he, he <laughs> we didn't know until the fight was over just how badly he was damaged. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And when you put it like that, when they cheat death, I think. I don't think they did. I, I almost, you know, nothing against Irish Dragon, Paul Felder, Michael Bisbing, former UFC middleweight champion, and uh, who's really surprising me in terms of commentator. Uh, I, I and talk about perf preference, right? I actually prefer Brandon Fitzgerald, Brendan Fitzgerald over John Anik. Hmm. Like Brendan Fitzgerald is. You know, he might be an ESPN guy. I don't know what his background was, you know, before it. But, like, he is somebody – and nothing against Anik, right? Like, I love Rogan, right? I love Rogan doing commentary. There's a lot of people that thinks he phones it in. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's bullshit because, again, Rogan fought the good fight where nobody wanted to touch UFC. And he mm -hmm. was the first kind of – you got to remember how big news radio was. You got to remember mm – -hmm how big, you know, the man show was in some circles, how big Fear Factor was around the fucking world, right? So with that all being said, like, you know, don't shit on Rogan, right? Because mm -hmm. Rogan basically, you know, carved the path that a lot of people can walk down, myself included, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Podcasting, interviewing, commentary, what have you, 
Rogan was it, right? When there was nobody fucking attaching themselves to this business, right? So y'all get the fuck off Rogan. <coughs> I'm not saying anything against John Attic, mm-hmm. but, but I prefer Fitzgerald. 100%. Like, I prefer Fitzgerald. And nothing against all three gentlemen behind the bench, behind the desk that night. But your assessment of them cheating death, I almost feel like you should have been on commentary. Well, you know, uh, 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 it's not it's not what you can do. It's who you know in this game. You know, I, I see a lot of folks out there that, I mean, I mean, they're qualified, but they're not the best for the position. I mean, you see this in life all the time. You know, yeah. this, this, this is, this is the way life is. And, and, um, we can only do our best, you know, we can only do our best. 